The best way to, to pick a battery backup system is the size of the battery you can use, the size of the pump that you can install with it, and the user-friendly maintenance side of it. Um, the ones that we love to use are very user-friendly for us and the homeowner. At the end of the day, if the pump goes off at 10 o'clock at night, you're not gonna get a hold of the people that installed it. So you wanna make it very user-friendly for the homeowner to be able to turn it off until we can get out there to take a look at things. The key features for a backup is how easy and user-friendly it is to read and use. We found the most efficient, easy-friendly one that we could find. Um, that's also the quietest one on the market. At the end, of, when you put a pump in, you don't want to hear it go off. <laughs> so ours is very digital up top, and everything is everything is spelled out next to the, the the actual charger. So it tells you exactly what's wrong with it, and it also gives you the steps to turn it off. When we install it, we also go through it with the homeowner and make them turn it off and turn it on. So that way they know how to use it in case it happens. That's what it's there for is for an emergency. So we have to make sure that they know how to do that when it happens. So with the battery itself, if your battery goes out and typically typically you get a six to eight year span on a battery backup. It's just like a car battery. Usually five to seven, six to eight years, they're gonna need replaced because they get used. Even though that backup is not being used, there is a trickle charger on it to make sure that it is staying charged so it is it has an active current that goes through it. The ones we use are completely enclosed. It's a the easiest way is for for homeowners is it's a RV marine battery. Um, you don't have to do maintenance to the, to our, to the pump itself and the battery. And if you have to change it out if the provider that installed it for you is no longer in service or doesn't want to service you, then you want a RV marine battery as a backup. So that way you don't have to do the maintenance and you don't have to add the water to it.